Hello, this is McKay with BYU Software Training, and today I'll be showing you how to export your ETD and embed your fonts in Adobe Acrobat. This is the final step in the ETD formatting process and shouldn't be done until your document is ready to be submitted. In order to export your ETD using Acrobat Pro, you'll need it already installed on your computer. There are ways to export to a PDF without using Acrobat, but we'll want to avoid them because we need to do several things in Acrobat Pro that we can't do through other programs. You'll know that you have Acrobat Pro running on your computer if you're seeing the Acrobat tab in Word in this upper right hand side. If that's the case, you can go ahead and skip to this time code where we start talking about exporting. Now, if you don't have Acrobat installed on your computer, you have a couple different options. Acrobat Pro is unfortunately part of Adobe's paid Creative Cloud subscription, so unless you're willing to pay, there's no real way to use it. Now, as of the time of recording this video, Adobe does offer a free trial for the Creative Cloud, so you could potentially use that just to get Acrobat and export your ETD. If you've already used your Adobe free trial, however, or if you'd rather not download the program onto your computer, you have a couple of options still. The best option is to come into the BYU library and use the computers that we have here in the software training lab. They all have Acrobat Pro already installed, so all you need to do is save your document onto a drive and then transfer it to the computer you're using here. Your other option is to use a service BYU offers called Cloud Apps. The URL for that is cloudapps.byu.edu. This service will allow you to use your browser to remotely access a computer that has Acrobat. You'll need to first upload your thesis to BYU's box service in order to do that. This process is a little bit complicated and tends to be very glitchy, so I'd only recommend cloud apps as your last resort. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's export our ETD document. Click on the Acrobat tab in Word and simply choose Create PDF. It'll ask you to save your document before continuing, so just go ahead and do that. And then after a moment, it should automatically open up our new PDF document in Acrobat. Just a note here, if you get an error message while doing this, it likely means you haven't yet logged into your Adobe account. So just make sure to log into Acrobat Pro first if that happens outside of Word. So with our document here in Acrobat, we're very close to being ready to submit. But we'll first want to fix any of our bookmarks. Bookmarks are a reflection of our table of contents, and they will be used to quickly navigate your document by whoever views it. To see your bookmarks, click on this little bookmarks button on the left hand side. This will bring up links to every header in your document. Everything mostly looks good to me, but we'll want to fix our bookmark to our title page because we want it to just say title page and not our actual title. So just right click on that bookmark and choose rename, then just type title page in all caps and then hit enter. You can also go through and double check that all the other bookmarks are correct. Bookmarks can be deleted as well by right clicking on them in the chance that something got made into a bookmark that shouldn't have. The last step before we submit our thesis is to make sure all of our fonts are embedded. Here's what I'm going to do. On the upper right hand side of Adobe Acrobat, there's a search bar that says search tool. In that search bar, I will search for pre-flight. It should come right up and I'm going to click on it when it does. That will bring up this pop-up window labeled pre-flight. From here, you can see that there are three little buttons in the middle of this window, a toolbox, a magnifying glass, and a wrench. We'll be clicking on the rightmost button, this little wrench here. Now we'll want to click inside this find search bar and search for embed. That should bring up this embed fonts option, which is exactly what we want. We'll click on that and then we'll choose Fix at the bottom of the right hand side of the screen. Adobe Acrobat is going to ask us to save our document again and we can choose to rename our document and save it as a new version or just keep the name and save over the old version. As we save our file, Acrobat will do the embedding and now we know that our fonts are embedded. So it's not the most straightforward process ever, but we can rest easy knowing our fonts are now embedded in our PDF. And there you have it. You are now ready to submit your thesis. Good job for all your hard work and best of luck to you with everything.